Hello, today I want to show you dynamic labels in Excel. According to the IBCS standards, we should not use labels as a legend for your charts and diagrams. So the recommendation of the International Business Communication Standards, according to Professor Rolf Hichert, is that we label directly inside the charts and columns. But this needs dynamic labeling. Depending on the data size, we would like to have the labels, the text labels next to the column size, perfectly well positioned. And this is what I'm going to show you. I prepared a ready-made example, uh, which you can see here. Now let's continue and show you how we do it in practice. We have the labels right next to the column. So 130 tons of bananas, 50 tons of oranges, and 70 tons of apples adding up to 250. So we avoid legends, which is more visual and according to the international business communication standards. But of course, these labels have to be dynamic according to the data input. So if I increased the tons of 130 to 150, it's obvious that the labels would have to follow dynamically. And this was I'm going to show you how to do it. Therefore, I have prepared a simple column chart, plan, actual, and the variance of minus 20 here in my data. So what if we wanted to show the minus 20 just here right in the middle in between the two columns and of course dynamic according to the 70 planned and 50 actual. So what we need is we have to use a chart technique to make it dynamic and uh, therefore we need coordinates like in maths. So we have a horizontal X coordinate and we have a vertical Y coordinate. So this is what I prepared here. So dynamic label, we need a point which has an X and a Y coordinate. So the Y coordinate to make it dynamic is the calculation of the position which is actual plus planned divided by two. So it's kind of the the average we want to see here, which is 60. And we can see already here 60 is the perfect position. So between 50 and 70. The question is, what is the X coordinates? So here you have to know that Excel numbers the column. So the first column you see, the one is right in the very middle centered of column one. 2 is here on the middle or centered on the actual. So 1.5 would be just right here in the middle. And of course, this is what you can calculate as well. Well, if it's centered, this is easy. So 1 is left, 2 is right, 1.5 is exactly in the middle. So now what we need is we have to place the point here and then tack our label to the point. So therefore we go into the chart and we go for select data. We add a new series. I might give the name for label. And as you can see, we can only add Y values. The reason is that Excel expects us to add another column. But this is not the case, but this is what we have to do in the first step. So we would go for the 60 and no more we can do. So what we see is obviously a second column. Next step is that we call the column and change the chart type. And this is the secret here. We go for the X, Y scatter. So this is a point chart. And now you can see the point here, which has the right position when it comes to the vertical, but it's not yet the right position when it comes to the horizontal. And the reason is that we did not yet key the 
x coordinates inside. So Excel automatically starts with one and is the reason why it's here. So uh, in this particular case, we would um, go back to our select data. We would select our label and now as you can see, as we have an x, y scatter chart, the x input option is available and we can key in the x coordinate so we are more or less ready. So we can already see that this is on the right position and of course it's dynamic, so if we change the figures here, then everything else would change with it. So next we would ask to add the labels. And as we can see, of course, the choice we have is the either or, so the coordinates which we can choose here, which does not help so much. First of all, uh, we would like to format these data series uh, and we would say no marker. So no marker in the marker options, none. So we don't want to see the point actually. And then we want to see the format of the data label here. And as we can see, the series name would not help us, the X value either, the Y value either. So this does not help so much. What we need to make sure is that we're here uh, on the centered, right? It's now covered here by my, by my plot, centered. Centered on top of the point. And now the, the trick comes. Now we click inside once. Then we click into the function line and type in equal and refer to the cell we want to display. In our case, the minus 20 return. And the minus 20 is shown. So again, we mark the label then have a second click inside, then we type the equal into the function line and we connect with the cell we want to show. Let's assume we want to show variance as a text here. This would work perfectly. And of course now this works in a dynamic way. So numbers and text, whatever you like, whatever the cell shows can be displayed. So back to this example here, we can see the three coordinates for the label one, label two, and label three here. The coordinates, of course, are calculated. So the first one, bananas, is half of the value. It's half of the value here. While here we have the bananas, the 130 plus half of the value of the oranges. And up here, of course, we have the bananas plus the oranges plus half of the apples. Here the X coordinates you try out. So uh, 1.6, uh, you can see it's pretty far away. So this is what you try out once because this depends on the width of your columns. Uh, so you make sure that it's nice. What you can see here is uh, to align this to the right, you make sure that in the data labels format, you uh, have your label position to the left of the points, the dots. So then you align it to the right. If I align it to the right, then you can see it's the label just right off and not left of the data point. So this is how you create uh, lovely charts with dynamic labels. Well, I hope you liked it. If yes, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell. We will continue with dynamic lines in our next video session.